So how to convert these images into IMS format? For a confocal format or microscope format like ND2 from Nikon, uh, LSM from Zeiss, or OIB from Olympus, this format from the different microscope uh, companies, uh, usually Imaris can directly support very well. So for example, you just, for this ND2, you just double click. Double click on the image and the Imaris will ask, uh, will let you know uh, it will be converted. So it's just okay. So now this file already converted to IMS file format. So what happened to the same folder is Imaris will create a copy, IMS copy of this ND2 file or of this uh, original file. So afterward, when you do anything, a modification or a process, it will always be on this IMS copy. So the original file will uh, keep unchanged in the original folder. Okay. So as same as the other file format, you just double click and uh, usually Maris should be able to convert it quite uh, correctly. And so in the same folder, you will see there are some IMS copies and there are some original files. Uh, sometimes if you uh, convert your file and uh, you double click to open and uh, after you review your data and you find maybe this is not a file you want, uh, in order not to have the IMS copy occupied your disk space, you can always uh, right click and uh, revert to original image. Right, so once you do that, uh, what Imaris did on the folder is actually delete the IMS file. Okay, so you can either delete the uh, unused IMS in the folder or you can delete it by right click and uh, revert to original images in the arena. Okay, so that is how you can convert this uh, microscope uh, company format very easily in uh, Imaris Arena. All right, so for uh, the files, so the file is from Leica. If you have used these files, uh, this file format is from Leica and uh, there are some similar format from different company, but usually this file, one leaf file can Contains, as you can see here, is one single file, and each file, single leaf file, actually uh, include multiple position. So in Arena View, uh, Imaris can recognize this format and show all the uh, different position of images included in this single leaf file. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Nine. One leaf file including in this case include nine different position images and you can see all the preview of all the positions. So here you don't need to convert everything. If you don't want to convert everything, you just want to convert uh, some of them. Uh, you can just uh, choose some of them and double click. So only this position will be converted or you can convert them all by uh, multi-selection. So I'm holding the uh, control key, control key in Windows or command key in uh, Mac and the right click to, to uh, convert, to do the uh, multiple uh, convert. Okay, so I use shift to select them all and uh, convert. All right, so you can see we can also do the multiple uh, conversion at the same time by multi-select the images. Okay, so that is for the leaf. And uh, if you notice, there is a different color on top of this uh, something else. So which indicates they are from the different uh, leaf files. So same color is from the same leaf file. So there are blue and the yellow, so two. 
two uh, lead files and including total 18 uh, positions of images. Okay, so in the folder, you can see the single position has been converted into the IMS file as well. Okay, so that is the easy part. Then some, uh, sometimes uh, if you have a tip, file, tip series, uh, usually you have tip series, there is sometimes it's confusing uh, because uh, for the tip series, usually it does not uh, include the metadata. So usually Imaris or sometimes Imaris cannot convert it uh, properly. So you will have to do some manual, manual uh, configuration. So here in this folder, Hila uh, tip files, I have a tip series. So the naming is uh, Hila cell and with time, channel, and the Z like this. So one important thing to have in Maris to uh, convert your TIFF series properly is the naming, actually. So if you name your files in a very good uh, fashion or good order, then it will be easier for Imaris to convert it uh, properly. So for example, T is time, C is channel, Z is Z. So it should be quite good, but sometimes the, it's not always uh, as simple as this. So we have a uh, different uh, manual configuration in Imaris I will show you. All right, so I have multiple uh, single slides here. But in Imaris, you, in Arena, you will see just one. Uh, some nails because according to the name, Imaris uh, recognize this uh, series automatically as a single uh, images data. So it won't show you like 100 uh, singles, single image thumbnails, but it will show you just one uh, single image data like this. So for the tip series, if you right click on the image, you can see this configure fire series uh, options here. So the, here, if you click in, this window will open. Uh, this is where you can tell in Maris uh, the naming, how, how you name your uh, images. So in Maris can configure it uh, correctly. Okay, so here already we have T, time, channel, and Z as the uh, uh, indicator for time, channel, and the Z. But if you have a, a different meaning of these letters, for example, T, if this T means not a time, but channel, somehow <laughs> you can uh, use this drop-down list and select the correct dimensions for this letter. So for example, if it's channel, then you can select C for this letter then Imaris should be able to configure or convert your tip series uh, correctly. Okay, so I have time and uh, channel, channel, okay, and the uh, Z. So 22 time points, two channel and the five Z series. And here is the preview of all the summary of the, the images that which are going to be converted. So you can check whether it's correct here. And also uh, for the tip series, uh, usually you will have to enter the correct voxel size here. Okay, so X, Y, and the Z. One pixel equal to how many uh, micrometers? Uh, if you don't remember, you probably have to go back to the system which you acquire these images and uh, you acquire this image and find the correct numbers in order to show this convert and show this data uh, correctly in, in Maris. Okay, so this is a file name with a delimiter. If file name without delimiters, you can still try to convert it by assigning the the dimensions and uh, the uh, numbers of each dimensions. So you can try, but usually uh, we should use 
laminate like this with the delimiters like this is better and easier. Okay, so here once you configure uh, manually and uh, make sure the number is good, then you can double click again to convert this uh, tip series. Okay, so you can notice here, after convert, it has a cubic and the two straight lines next to it. This means the time series. So this is a 3D uh, time series data. And here uh, we have a 2D, it's a square and the two lines, 2D time lapse. And uh, another small icons here means the different, uh, different uh, modules in or different two object in Mars including the surface and the spot and the filament and the cells, which we will introduce in the later trainings. Okay, so this does mean something. You can have a very clear preview or understanding of your data here. Okay, so each data, if you click, you can see there is a summary of properties here, including the location and the size and uh, some uh, information about the dimensions and the channels here, okay? And for the tip series, another, uh, another sometimes uh, confused one is the multiple, multi-field, multi-field uh, data. So here, in this folder, multi-field folder, I have uh, two data set and each data set is including the uh, five position. Okay, so I have this KOC, KO cell uh, with speed F01 to 05 and the wire type from 01 to, to 05. So each data set I have five positions. So how to uh, convert them uh, correctly in Imaris? Here, uh, because of the naming, uh, now in Arena, Imaris also only show you two uh, thumbnails. So data set, uh, Nakao data set, white, uh, white type. So here, if you uh, right click and uh, configure file series, you will also find this similar uh, set same uh, windows then you can select this f split f split so if you select this field then instead of convert them into the single convert all the field into the single imaris file then uh, it will convert it to uh, individual uh, field of individual ms files i will show you but Yesterday when I tested, I found maybe it's a bug in Imaris here. So if even if I use the F split here, then it will not convert it properly. So as you can see, it does not convert it properly. So sometimes uh, for some reason, when our development team develop the new versions or developing the new functions, uh, it is inevitably we will see some bugs. But when you report it to us, then we, before we officially fix it, we may find a workaround. So for example, okay, I have these uh, images and I found this, oh, this may be a bug. I, uh, it was not converted properly in, uh, in Maris. Then here I will, I'm going to show you, I just remove that file created by Arena. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, I mean, okay. So I, I, I'm going to show you how to convert this properly. So I just tried yesterday and I found that it can be converted quite well, uh, correctly from the Imaris Fire Converter. So here, Imaris Fire Converter. So to convert 
the non-IMS format into the IMS format, you can convert them in either in Arena or in using uh, Imaris File Converter. Okay, so what is Imaris File Converter? Uh, this is a free software which you can download from our website. So if you Google Imaris or Bitplan, you should be able to find this page. And in the download area, you can get this uh, Imaris uh, file converter and install on any of PC. It doesn't require any license. It's a free software just for the convert, convert, uh, converting the uh, files. So you can uh, feel free to use it. So hey, here Asen. I I'm yep. just going to um, jump in here. So on all of our VMs in the folder where um, you launch Amaris, which is in the mm -hmm. um, software folder on your desktop, there's also yeah. the Amaris yeah. image, um, the Amaris file converter program there. So you can also do it on the VMs. Yeah. So uh, usually this one, file converter install, will be installed together with the Amaris by default. So if you have Imaris installed on your PC, you should be able to see or find this uh, file converter. And if you don't have Imaris on your uh, laptop or your own workstation, then you can always uh, find an installer from our website and install this uh, program in on lab PC. Okay, so uh, if you have, you can try to open it. So double click. So basically, you can see uh, this window when you open the file converter and to convert the files, uh, we can, by dragging the images you want to convert. So here, I'm just going to this folder and I have two data set. So I just drag the first one into uh, this area and the second one here, okay? So if you have this naming, uh, Imaris file converter will recognize it uh, as in Arena. So it will recognize this data set as a single image files. So here, if you click settings, so for the tip series, uh, we have these settings uh, clickable. So you can click on these settings so here, now you can see the same windows as in Arena uh, configure file series. Okay, so here, if you choose F-Split, F-Split, then click OK. Then for the other one, you can do the same, F-Split, OK. Okay, so once you uh, down the settings, you can start all. So now you can see Imaris uh, file converter has convert this individual field into individual IMS files separately like this. So somehow in here is okay, but in Arena is not working good. So I will have to report this uh, bug, but uh, if you find sometimes uh, Arena cannot convert your image properly, sometimes you can try to convert in this using this file converter and uh, see if it works. Okay, so here is how you can convert your images using the Arena or the file converter. So both way uh, works uh, okay. All right, so here, uh, basically, I have shown uh, most of the uh, format. Maybe you will have to convert. So some format, you just double click, and you can easily convert it. And some format, for tip series especially, you have to uh, do some, some